Is that, is that the drinks? Improvise right there. <laughs> it's not working. She found a Capri Sun straw. It's not working. It's not working? Coffee's good though. Coffee is good though. Tom and Tom's. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. Tom and Tom's. There's another straw that I actually have. So we've been packing all day. It's like 2 o'clock. Now we're uh, going to go grab some lunch. Wow, this is all in the construction because we, we did a lot. Yeah, we're gonna go grab some lunch. A lot more places that are open for outdoor dining. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. And the weather's amazing here. <laughs> I forgot how how bomb the weather was. That's so good out here. Yeah. That sunny. Sparkling water. Looks good. Is this a dressing? Oh. Looks good. Seems like a quick, healthy, fast. Gopher. Gopher. You guys didn't know that that's uh, Chris's, uh, that's the name the hater just gave him. <laughs> Gopher. I actually think that's a bar. I think I've been there before. This place is empty. It's getting empty. We uh, had a lot of people pick up a lot of stuff. Oh, babe, don't forget to take your diploma off the wall. Oh. Oh, my diploma. <laughs> Almost forgot that. Yes. Never forget your diploma. <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't ever forget your diploma. Your college diploma. It's always around the corner. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. We. I decided to keep the couch. Yeah, we're keeping the couch. Can't wait to bring that home with us. You know. We found home. someone who was willing to ship it super cheap, so we're yeah. able to keep it. So we're excited. Because we love that couch. It's our like one of our favorite. There. Tonight we're going to Little Tokyo, so stick with us. Got some wings. Okay. Looking fresh. No, I would say I mean it's like Bone a fresh like That's how hot this wing is. This wing, is it up? yeah, this wing is not playing games, y'all. 
Smoking weed. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors, and whoever loses has to eat, has to eat the red pepper. Just one, right? Yeah, just one. I just want people to know I can't handle spicy food. It's like scary stuff and spicy food is the death of me. I thought you cooked him. I can handle kimchi. <laughs> It'll be the end of me. Okay, you ready? So, rock, paper, scissors? Two out of three? Yeah. Rock, no, paper, paper, scissors. scissors. <laughs> I think I know what you're gonna do. What? Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Feed up, big boy. I never win. <coughs> Is this one okay? Yeah. I have to eat this whole thing? Yeah. Like, eat it, chew it, and then. Swallow it. Yeah. Look how greasy that is. Thank you. Yeah, I got a nice burger thing in half. Cool, thank you. Before we start, we got the miso burger. It looks good. Too bad I'm gonna die before I could eat it. Not as. I feel like they like hollowed out the pepper, and that was just the the outside. Uh, so it wasn't that bad. No. Yeah, they did hollow it out. I think. Oh. <laughs> Dodge the bullet. Dodge the pepper. <laughs> Dodge the pepper. We'll call it quarantine food. We'll do it on our couch. Fun. You see those kids just scootering, being like, "Wee!" Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> just rode her first electric scooter. I did. If you guys know, like, this is bad first day he rode those, but we rode it together, which is not recommended. Don't do it. It's not <laughs> safe. And we both got on one together, and he was going so fast. It was a lot of fun. Her first time riding an electric scooter. It was fun, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. It was like. Almost five dollars for what? Ten minutes? Five yes. minutes? For for a well, for a mile? For a mile. For so like those kids who ride them for funsies, like yeah. probably spending a lot of money. It's like a lift. It's like just buy your own electric <laughs> scooter yeah. at that point. Like a lift is running us like eight, nine dollars. Yeah. Plus so. tip for one mile. Yeah, yeah. So that was fun. Um <laughs> Luckily, the roads were a little cleaner. Yeah. We are we're here. <laughs> I was like, did you? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I thought you forgot. No, it's so weird. This is gonna be our last night here, guys. This apartment means so much to us. Yeah, so many good memories with us and the kids. Oh, so sad. So sad, it's empty. Yeah, so like if you guys didn't know, this was like mine and Chris's like first time meeting each other apartment and then it soon became the kids apartment yeah. and we would come here at least once a month yeah. for a couple days with the kids and they love it here. Lisa's up. Time to close up shop. Yeah. But this place is a, oops. This place is amazing. I'm having a harder time like giving it up than the uh, other apartment. Yeah? Yeah. But, I mean, we did give out a ton of furniture and, and, and a lot of stuff for free. At so, least we yeah. can keep our couch so it's we'll have that Yeah. We gave away a lot of um, kitchenware, pots, pans, um, our side table. We gave away a lot of stuff. Um, so. 
it makes us feel better knowing that it's not going to the dump and uh, it's being passed on to where other people could use it. Um, and so, yeah. And like, there were several pieces that I acquired on the second end market from other people. And uh, I don't know, it feels really good to kind of pass it on to the next, next person. Um, and they're still in great shape to use. So uh, it, yeah, it's, it's really nice knowing that it's going on somewhere else to have a new story. Um, but another thing we're kind of glad about, or I think we're really glad about, is that we were trying to sell this couch. Um, it's a beautiful couch. Uh, you might have seen it in several of our photos or videos, but um, yeah, it's a really lovely couch and it's very comfortable. It's still in like great shape. Um, and uh, yeah, we didn't have any buyers, but uh, we did get a quote from several people saying they'd uh, they ship it for us um, along with our, our bed. So, um, yeah, I think it's meant to be. Like, I'm really, really happy we get to keep this couch. Yeah, no, this couch means a lot to us. It's like our only couch that's actually worth money. <laughs> I want to eventually get, like, the matching love seat with it and, like, put it in our living room because right now you our... Know, what's crazy? What? I was originally planning on getting the love seat. The love seat for this was, like, $700. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what? I would eventually like to do that, but our living room couch is, it was like a cheap couch I buy. I think it was only 600 for that sectional, and it's the type that just falls apart. But it's perfect for kids, because oh, yeah. our kids love to take the couch cushions off and build forts, and I used to do that as a kid too. But with these ones, it's like, don't touch the couch cushion. <laughs> Um, but eventually I actually want to do like a white sectional, like a white leather sectional. That way if the kids get it dirty, it just wipes right off. And then kind of like do a white vibe for our like family living room. And then eventually do like our living room, like the foyer type of area in like the more sophisticated. But I have an idea for the living room and I want to redo it. But it's just like finding the right items that kids can get dirty and tossed around where it still looks good. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we always buy silver and brown couches. Best colors for paint. Best colors. And one last thing we're gonna take with us is our little light. I love that light. Cool. Well, it's been it's been a good day. Long day of packing. We're gonna finish up. Pack up a few more things. It's been real LA. Throw away some trash. It's been real. Cool. Real. Have a good night. Peace. Oh no. We're <laughs> not throwing that stuff away. Yeah, I know, I gotta throw it away. We took well. Chris took a bed the part, uh, bleh, took the bed apart. Uh, I finished packing. This is our tape pile, garbage pile right there. How are you feeling, babe? You regretting losing the rock, paper, scissors? Very much. I'm disappointed in myself. So last night, um, we had one bottle of, what was it? Screwball? Yeah. And um, we can't, you can't take alcohol that's been open in a car. So we're like, well, we gotta dump it or get rid of it. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Whoever lost it, rock, paper, scissors, had to drink it. Who lost, babe? Somebody else. Chris lost. So he is down for the count. Never. Never again. Never again. <laughs> so he just took like a power nap while I finished uh, cleaning up everything, getting it all going. He is just down to the count, so I guess I'm kind of screwed and I lost because now I have to drive. Yeah, I drove the whole way last time. I know. <laughs> Never again. Never again. Never again. But we are gonna say goodbye to this place, our LA apartment. So bittersweet and sad, but yeah, we have to move. <laughs> yeah.
It's been real. You look like you're dead. Yeah. My health is declining right now. <laughs> oh, we got a last couch. My movers come. Yep. On Saturday, they're going to pick up the couch, bed frame, and then... You told them not to take the mattress, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we have another set of movers. Um, they're going to take this. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's not going down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's wrap this couch and then we got to go get the car. Get the car. Get the car, pack up, somehow jam this all in there. We'll wrap the couch, throw the garbage away, and then go get the car. Here, leave that garbage in there for a second. I have to go to the bathroom one more time. No, I know. Oh, man. It's not a phone camera. It hurts. <laughs>